with another patio furniture. This time it's going to be the swinging egg chair. So let's take a closer look at it. You want to make sure you have a good spot for this because the base does take up a little bit more room than I thought. You start off building this with the legs right here. It has these little screws and then you attach it to this piece here which is going to hold the chair. It is actually two pieces so it connects right here for the upper part. And then you got the little hooks and the chain to actually hold up the egg chair right here. Now the chair part itself was one solid piece. You just fold it all out. So that was easy. And then the cushions are two separate pieces that you just tie on to the back of the chair. So you got the sitting and then you have the headrest right here. You have to cut these tags off still. The cushion is nice and thick. The back does have this belt for the chair to attach to. This is to prevent the chair from swinging all over the place. So you can tighten it and loosen it as much as you want. The top here does have these screws. I really like how strong those screws look. And here's a test on how well this egg chair swings. So as you can see, that belt really does keep this in place and constrain. This chair is actually really comfortable and it's also really fun to swing in. It's so cute and definitely a statement piece for the patio. I totally recommend it. 